Hey, if you thought that Apple rumor mill will slow down now because it's December, you are deeply mistaken. We had a chance to get some new information about the alleged mixed reality glasses coming from Cupertino. According to Kuo Ming Chi, we can expect something in quarter four next year, but this is just the piece of the information that we have. So let's talk about it. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Mocking Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button, don't forget to enable all notifications. See you in the next video. But first, this content is sponsored by Blackbeard Hosting. So first there are 13 seconds promo and let's go. Blackbeard hosting simple easy to use website installer 24 7 customer support real people check it out one month free trial no credit card needed with digital markings code you get five percent off blackbeard hosting The rumors about the upcoming Apple headset and glasses have been with us since the last year or longer, with tech insiders like Kuo Ming Chi and Mark Gurman being the loudest ones. Not long ago, Kuo has once again revealed new details about Apple's AR VR device. If you recall, some initial predictions were mentioning two products, VR headset and afterwards AR glasses, with the first one codenamed N301 expected in 2022 and the latter one with N421 designation around 2023 or later. Some recent updates confirm the original prediction, with the first device still coming next year, likely quarter 4 2022. This product, according to Quo, will be mixed reality headset that will not only complement the real environment with computer-generated information, but could also create completely virtual realities generated on two micro OLED screens. These screens, according to Quo, will be produced by Sony and should support 4K resolution. A few months ago, however, the information portal, which is considered as really reliable, suggested ultra high resolution 8K displays, one for each eye. The same article also included how users will also have to wear a thimble like device or the ring on their finger, which should help with controls and uh, hand tracking. Apple analyst in his note published that Apple's AR VR headset will be powered by two chips, with more powerful being the M1 equivalent, the same processor that powers some of the existing Macs as well as the whole iPad Pro lineup. This matches the original claims about ultra powerful system with graphics and processing speeds unheard of for a wearable device. Okay, if what we heard is correct, headset displays will integrate eye tracking technology to make sure that movements are one to one as possible, as well as dozen cameras for tracking, a lighter sensor, and even an outward facing visor built into the display to allow the wearer to show its graphics to others. Few published patents which we have seen during the year promise some interesting features like air gestures, visual touch detection, navigation by sound, virtual store experiences, 3D object scanning, share play, etc. As far as we know, this first generation headset will weight around 300 or 400 grams, while according to Quo, Apple is already working on its successor, which could be lighter and should see the light of the day somewhere around 2024. So far, the price range for this particular device has been between $1,000 and $3,000. It also depends what will be the target audience of this product. We know that you will be able to play games, consume multimedia, navigate, and probably something specific that only professionals know. Let me ask you a question. Would you be interested in something like Apple AR VR headset or you would rather wait for those more sophisticated and practical AR glasses? Please answer in the comment section below. That's all. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notification. Don't forget to check the links in the description. Besides few offers and discounts, you may find some Apple products and accessories as well. Thank you so much for watching this Mocking channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day.